welcome to Anatomy and Physiology 169. So I'm going to be your um, instructor for this course. Uh, my name is Lauren Royal Woods, and it's a pleasure. Um, so I wanted to go over some intro stuff with you and uh, tell you, you a little bit about myself and um, how the course is going to be structured and what to expect. And if you have any questions, always feel free to communicate with me through email or through the Remind app, which I'm going to be showing you in a minute. Or um, also, you can contact me in the forums. I'm going to put a little uh, question and answer forums as well. So therefore, if you have any questions regarding this um, introductory video, um, you can post them there and I'll definitely uh, get back to you there because your questions might be the same questions as somebody else has and I just find it's kind of useful to have one where, you know, people can talk and whatnot. So, with that said, let me get started. Normally, um, when you're going to be seeing some of my lectures, I'll have uh, my snake Monty with me. Um, he's my co-teacher. I uh, used to be, uh, before I became a teacher, I used to be a zookeeper. So I actually have an interesting background when it comes to anatomy and physiology. Um, so yeah, I went to uh, Western Carolina University for both my undergraduate degree and my master's. Um, I also, after that, uh, worked in a uh, uh, technology place for a while, uh, troubleshooting, and then said, I'm not using my degree, I better go back. And that's when I became a zookeeper. And um, that's where I got my pet snake, Monty, and I've had him now for 18 years. Yes, um, I'm not entirely sure how old he is. We'll get into that later. He gets his own separate video so I can introduce you to him slowly. Because I know some people are like, oh, God, snake. But I also find it funny because some people hate snakes, but Monty is made, has been the exception to several people, and he's got some fascinating stories with him that I've... <laughs> So we'll get there later. Anyway, um, so after I was a zookeeper for a while, um, I really enjoyed it, but the zoo unfortunately closed. And then um, I decided I really love teaching. So I went back and got my master's degree in teaching science. And um, I was a high school uh, science teacher for about 16 and a half years. And just this last semester, I made the jump uh, to come over and start teaching for Blue Ridge Community College full time. I was an adjunct for them for a little over five years. So I've been teaching anatomy and physiology for quite a while now. Um, I have a kind of a, a different perspective, but I'll get to that in a minute. So one of the things I wanted to go over real quick, I kind of already did, but I'm good like that at jumping the gun. So Sorry, I have a bit of sniffles at the moment. I'm getting over something. Anyway, um, again, best way to contact me is through my email right here. Um, also, the Remind app. So you'll see that when you joined that there's a Remind app. And uh, what's going on in there is that you can actually text me through that app, and um, it will contact me very quickly. So if you need something quick, you know, by all means, go ahead and message me through the Remind. However, I have office hours set up in there. <coughs> Excuse me again. And that is um, uh, from, uh, excuse me, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, and then I have it set. So, yeah, you can still contact me after that, but usually I'm asleep about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, so I'm passed out. I know sometimes you're doing these things late at night, and I get it, trust me, I understand, I was there once. So, but just keep in mind, I probably won't uh, get back to you until I'm awake, so. And I usually try to get back to you as quickly as possible, um, especially if I know the answer. If I don't know the answer and I have to double check with somebody, it might be a little bit longer. Um, but usually, I'm pretty good about getting back to you. Um, on the weekends, though, I'd like to have that as family time. You can still message me through the Remind app, and you can definitely still email me. Um, I may not get back to you until Monday morning, though. Just keep that in mind when you're contacting me over the weekend. Because um, sometimes I'm out with my family doing things, especially during the summer. 
So now if you want to talk to me face to face, that's awesome. Just email me or remind me and we'll set up a meeting and you can come here to the Patton Building on the Blue Ridge campus, um, the Hendersonville Blue Ridge campus. I'm in, my office is 250 and my uh, lab that I like to hang out in with Monty is 223. So with that said, things to know about me. I am a big, big nerd. And as I said, I have kind of a long and a weird, varied background in science, especially when it comes to, you know, biology. I've always wanted to be a biologist. Um, my love of uh, science actually came from me growing up watching Star Trek with the rest of my family. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of nerdy. I, I like uh, all sorts of strange things. I play Magic the Gathering with my family. I uh, like playing Pokemon with my son. Um, so, yeah, I do, I do all sorts of nerdy things. And um, I love the color purple. If you saw me face to face every day, you'd notice I have a lot of purple things. You'd probably be like, I wonder if she likes purple. And the answer would be yeah. I am a bit weird. I, I do say some strange things and I'm gonna tell you some strange stories. So I hope you're interested in some of the more interesting things because as one of my uh, former anatomy and physiology students, they sent me this one and it's very true right there. Um, I like going over, and this is kind of how the aspect of, of I, how I teach is I enjoy telling the stories of where our understanding of uh, a lot of scientific concepts came from because we didn't always know the things we know today. And it was a long and very, very, very weird journey into that. So, um, so I'm going to tell you some interesting stories this semester. Um, let me see if I can recall a few off the top of my head. We're probably, when we get into um, the digestive system, we're going to talk about the opposite of a bromance between two men that... Uh, yeah, it was it was interesting, um, interesting bunch there, uh, Dr. William Beaumont and um, Alexis St. Augustine. Uh, the two of them are, yeah, it, it's interesting, but it's how we discovered how stomachs digest. It was interesting. Um, I'm probably also going to be talking about a whole bunch of other weird topics. Um, so I do get into my some former students have called them my science rants. Um, so if you want to hear about the weird history of science on top of learning what you need to learn in anatomy and physiology, you've come to the right person. I am here for that. I'm also on um, YouTube. Um, if you look up the weird history of the cell theory, again, gee, right up my alley, weird history facts. Um, that's me and my nasally voice. Also, memes. I love memes. Um, I also have a thing. If you can find me anatomy and physiology memes, I'm, I'm so down for that. So feel free to stick weird memes in. Um, I love memes. But also, if you want, uh, please, 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 if you uh, join Remind, that'd be great. So if you just text this right here, it's brccap to some for summer um, at this number right here it will automatically uh, join you up but you can also download the app the remind app on your phone which is really useful so i highly suggest that as well um, i use the remind app myself and it also emails me and texts me and messages me through the app and yeah so i i do get it like in 15 different ways so i assure you <laughs> you can definitely get and contact me um, with that said, I want to go ahead and start going over some of the things you're going to see in the course. So again, when you first load in, you'll see this page right here. And you'll go down here. And again, this is the same information I was just showing you. And here's the Remind as well. You can join the class right there or you know sign up for Remind. Now, occasionally I will send out um, big messages to everybody so announcements they're going to pop right here but i'm thinking i'm also going to put them at the top of every week as well um you're probably looking over here going oh my gosh all the weeks uh yeah you won't see them so you don't get overwhelmed i'm going to pop them open like every monday morning for each week um but do not panic we're going to take it a bit at a time. However, do keep in mind this is a summer course and you guys are the bomb.com because you're taking a course that would normally be taught over 18 weeks and you're doing it in nine. So hats off to you. 
you're you're amazing already straight up you're amazing and don't forget that so anyway um the course announcements um every monday i'll try to put out a checklist of what you're going to be doing uh that should go straight to your email as well so you should be getting an email every monday that's my plan and um, if you have just straight up questions about any of the course announcements, you can post them here. Um, or like I said, you can email me. Remind is always really, really good. I stress that for a reason. Here's our course syllabus right here. Um, I'll pop it open in a minute. I also have this, it kind of breaks down um, everything. Here's your course outcomes. This is also in the syllabus. Uh, structure, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute, is right here. Now I've added a couple of things. I'm going to talk about that and it tells you what next. Um, and here's a thing that's a little bit smaller, but anyway. And our uh, book for this year is Holes, Human Anatomy and Physiology, 16th edition. Now, if you're having a hard time getting the 16th edition or you don't want to pay that price, I get you. Um, you can use the 14th and the 15th editions. However, the pages might not be the same as like, I'm gonna try and post, you know, what pages you're supposed to be using. Do not, do not, do not go past the 14th edition. 13th and down is different, totally different from 14, 15, 16. Completely, utterly different. So if you get, oh, I found it cheap, a 12th edition. No, um, I've looked at them all and yeah, they're like, it's like, oil and water they really upgraded on the 14th edition so 14 15 16 um, are good I'm just trying to save you some headache if you're looking at oh I found you know you know uh, a different volume for or a different edition for cheaper yeah you will but it won't match half the things that we've put up so just an FYI, if you're looking for, you know, trying to save yourself a little bit of money there. Anyway, uh, Lobster Student Guide. Um, if you click here, it will bring you to um, a great place to go over how to use Lobster and how to best use Lobster, because that's how we're going to be using the um, labs in here. Because unfortunately, this is an online class and you can't meet with me every week, which, you know, Barber, because I too enjoy face to face and getting to know you all in that manner. And, um, but this, this goes over a lot of great stuff and has some good videos about how to use Labster. Um, this is also really helpful, this Labster Help Center right here. Um, this, if like you're having a problem troubleshooting tips right here, is like the best. Um, because sometimes Labster acts up. And if you do have a problem with Labster, please message me through Remind and also send me screenshots because um, that really helps me see what error you're getting. And I'm pretty good about um, working you through a lot of that. Um, there's some that I can't, I don't know, it's above my pay grade, <laughs> no offense, but yeah. Um, and there's some parts that it's like, I've seen it before having used it with students uh, for a couple of years now. So if I've seen it before, I can usually walk you through how to troubleshoot it, uh, depending on what's going on. We'll get more in there when I show you Labster in a minute. But anyway, all right, so let me show you the first week. So you can kind of see how I lay out my courses. So you're not sitting there going, oh God, this woman's a mad woman. I mean, true, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, apologies. You've and I'm recording these and I tried to put it off to hopefully this would lessen and <clears throat> I'm on the mend. It's just when your husband works in education, he works over at Apple Valley and um, my, my son, he goes to Sugarloaf and uh, yeah, the germs, they be coming home. And I'm sure <laughs> those of you that have younger siblings or uh, family members in school, you probably know. <laughs> you know, what, what comes home goes around the house. Yay. So anyway, I'll get better as we go along. Anyway, um, so this is week one. And I'm again, I'm just kind of showing you around. Um, I do have a checklist for the week. Um, I'll give some more information when I shoot out things like on Monday mornings or whatnot when I open up a new week. Um, 
So this is basically a rough hand. Like if, if you prefer to have like a little checklist, this is a good thing for you. So that way you can check off what you've done as you go along. Um, this you only have to do once is the syllabus confirmation quiz using the syllabus and the solo confirmation quiz. Please get these done as soon as possible because I need these pretty much instantaneously. Um, so the minute you get in, please do these. Okay, because uh, that has to get done first thing. First thing you get into this course, you need to get this done. Now, hopefully, you'll see the video you're watching right now, right here. Um, that's where I'm going to stick it. And then you're going to uh, introduce yourself to me. So um, what I'm doing is uh, I'd like to know about you. Um, and online courses, you know, it's, it's hard, but I like to talk a lot and I like to have a, a dialogue between you. So we're going to have forums where we can all talk about things and you can ask me questions or you can say, hey, could you talk more about this? And I'd love to because um, I want to make this as interactive uh, so you're not just watching a lecture going, oh, gosh, and it's not applying to you. Um, because I don't, I don't find that fun, and I also like to get to know a lot of my students. So please, please, please. <laughs> uh, so first thing what you're going to do is you're going to introduce yourself. And again, you're going to use, uh, there's a short video, so you're going to add a discussion topic right here. Um, you can, I have it auto-subscribe you, so that way you know when there's uh, replies. Because I do like to get a dialogue going, um, and I will be replying as well. Um, so... Um, Tell me your name um, or your nickname, what you prefer to be going by. Um, also, why are you taking the course? Are you going in? A lot of people in anatomy and physiology are going into nursing, but I've also had dental assistants. I've also had people that are just moving on to a four-year college and a bigger program, which is all awesome. So, you know, tell me why you're taking this. Um, just, you know, because sometimes I use that information in later lectures to kind of mold it to what you need to know a little bit more for moving on. Anyway, um, a fun fact you're willing to share. Do you have pets? Um, do you know more than one language? Um, I, had a, I had a person that knew five languages, and I was just like, I, I only know one, unfortunately, and I know enough Spanish to get me into trouble. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I try. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, then after that, if you want, actually, well, yeah, after that, find me a meme, of uh, anatomy and physiology meme, and post it with your video. So please make your introdu uh, introductions by uh, Tuesday, May 23rd. And then make sure you've responded to a couple of your classmates, you know, saying, hey, hey, we got the same thing, or hey, we're doing, yeah. So respond to a couple of your classmates by Friday, May 26th. Um, so that way, you know, we can get everybody's posts and then you can talk to amongst yourselves as well. And I'll put, be in and, and say silly things too. So, or serious things, it just depends. All right. So that's the introduction there. And then again, so what you're going to see for pretty much what's going to go in is lectures are right here. Now, right now you're seeing older lectures. Um, these were put up by another professor, but just in case you can't stand the sound of my voice or something happens or I'm abducted by ancient aliens, um, you know, the guy from the History Channel with big floofy hair, he's an alien, I swear. Um, you know, but I'm going to have my lectures up at H5Ps and I'm going to do, you know, a little... Uh, video on how to do H5Ps in a minute so that way you you know how when you run through it you're not going to be going oh but it gives you a grade for watching the lecture so that's going to be part of your participation grade um, and then here's my notes and also the notes that go with uh, your text so my notes are right here and just in case you want to go along with me um, when I'm showing you my notes when I go over these chapters and um, also they have the notes here that go with the book themselves. And then, again, I've got it for, you're, you're basically doing two chapters a week. So yeah, you've, you've got a bit. Then I also have study guides for you. I'm going to also try and stick in um, quizzes 
It's a lot like Kahoot. If you've played Kahoot before, um, I like to use quizzes. Um, but it drops down with a whole bunch of these. And these are literally words that are taken from every single question on the tests. Now you'll be going, oh, how do you do the exams? The exams are 50 questions each, 25 on one chapter and 25 on another chapter. And because this is a condensed course, you're pretty much going to be hit with an exam next week. So, oof. So yeah, it's a lot, but I, I would highly recommend when you're using these terms is what you do is use your book and the, like hormone, look up in the back of the book where it, you know, says the definition of hormone, you know, everything about hormone. Um, put it on uh, cards and like hormone and then on the other side, all the information, do flashcards. Or if you like uh, Quizlet, Quizlet does those online flashcards people like to use all the time too. Um, so you can build uh, those. You can work with each other to build it. Um, I've known some students get together and make their uh, shared Google Doc where they can put in all this information that you found and study together that way, uh, which is pretty cool. And if you guys want to get together and do that, there is, like I said, a, uh, the forums at the beginning. You can definitely set that up right here, the student question and discussion forum. You can get in there and talk with each other, definitely, and like set stuff like that up. I do not mind at all. Also, I don't mind putting out a shout out on Remind for you as an, you know, a thing and just sit there and say, hey, so-and-so wants to, you know, get a study buddy group together going if you want, you know, contact them. Anyway, I don't mind setting, helping set that up. Now, you might want to see one here for old. That was an older test. It's got a lot of the same words, but some of them were slightly different. So I, I do that sometimes. I leave my older stuff up just in case somebody... This is the one to go by, definitely. Not the old one, but, you know, just in case if you want it. There it is. All right, the labsters. You, uh, for this week, you've got three. Um, and I try to put the, the number of minutes, how long it should take you while you're doing it, so you can plan things out. Um, and like I said, labster can be really cool and really weird. When it works, it's great. When it doesn't work, it makes you, you know, sometimes go, ah, uh, you know, in that way. That makes you go, uh. Anyway, so, uh, you know, if you're having problems with these, you know, hit me up and remind, send me an email, send me screenshots, because if you go, I don't know why it's not working, and then I'm like, I don't know why it's working, not working either. Could you please tell me what's happening? A screenshot is, like, the best thing to send me, because usually it makes me go, oh, okay, I've seen this before. You want to do X, Y, Z. So, just saying, it helps me help you. Um, again, H5Ps. So, there's a lot of different ones. These shouldn't take you much at all. I know it looks like there's a ton right here, and you're probably going, <gasps> but these are usually short and sweet. For instance, if I open up this, and um, what you can do is uh, actually drag these around so, like, drag the correcting area over the responding area. So, like, you know, there's the testes, and it goes right there. And you can put the ovaries right there. And you can put, you know, the pancreas right there. So, anyway, so all that fun stuff. Um, put your thyroid right there. Anyway, so that's how you do one of the dragon drops. And then you hit check, and then it will grade you and put it through. Now the grading's a little wonky. You can do these more than once and I try to set it up, but sometimes it takes the first grade and only the first grade and that's something I can't change. So I apologize ahead of time for that, but always remember when you're doing an H5P is they don't save and you've got to hit check or submit to get the grade to go through. If you don't see the grade to go through, talk to me about it, but remember if you haven't hit check or submit if you don't hit that submit button, that H5P will not grade. And you won't see a grade and I won't see a grade. However, um, again, same thing. If it gets a little wonky for you, um, take a screenshot that you did it. And I'll go in and uh, force it to put a grade in for you. Okay? So this can be a little wonky. It's really nice to do the drag and the drop and stuff. Um, that, that, that's not the only type they have. Um, that's what the... Uh, D and D means drag and drop. They also have a matching uh, 
type where you have to like, you know, you can drag it over as well. Um, so there's a lot of, a lot of little things. These are just helpful things to help you kind of wrap your mind around a lot of the, um, the information I'm going to be giving you. Because a lot of this is, you know, it's stuff that you can read in a book and then you're going, it doesn't always translate in your brain well. And a lot of these are set up to help you with that so you can kind of wrap your brain around it. So like I said, these only take a couple minutes each. I know there seems like a ton of them and some weeks you'll have less of these and more lobsters or vice versa. It's, it's, I, I don't have a set amount you have, um, but these are all participation attempts. And if you have a problem with one or if it isn't grading correctly, please, 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 please contact me. Thank you. Also, you have weekly quizzes. I'm going to have these shut on Tuesdays. So basically when you come in, um, like this is due uh, Tuesday, May 23rd at midnight. Actually, it's the minute before midnight because I can't set it exactly at midnight. Um, there is a grace period of about 15 minutes. However, you've got to submit these as well. Um, I don't know why I had a student last semester go, oh, well, the ones my professor set up used to just, you know, if it timed out, it would take that grade. And I'm like, yeah, it doesn't do that. Um, I don't have it set up like that. So, you know, go through, take it. They're 15 questions each. They're always going to be 15 questions each. Um, you've got about 20 minutes to do them in. Um, and then down here, these are older and they go with some of the older uh, books, but some people find them useful. So if you're one of the ones that like to have a good consistent chapter review, um, feel free to you know, download these and write all over them in your book if that helps you, but these are optional, okay? I put them up there because a lot of people have told me they find them useful, but I don't make them. <laughs> Again, I apologize. Anyway, but I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't grade these. So, you know, if they're, if you find these things useful, feel free. If you don't, feel free. Anyway, now also I put, uh, the last thing you're gonna see is the useful videos. I actually have these, uh, if you were in class with me, I actually have these um, sprinkled throughout my lectures. Um, you don't need to watch the lab safety because this is online. So unless you're somehow gonna hurt yourself with your computer, you know, while using Labster by chucking it out a window which occasionally can make you do that. And I completely sympathize there. Um, but I like to put in um, a lot of these videos because in anatomy and physiology, it isn't, you know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, in anatomy and physiology, a video is worth a bajillion million words because honestly, there's some things that, you know, our brains have a hard time conceptualizing um, without somebody showing a 3D model and then going in and animating how all that works. And some of the best people that I've found that, you know, explain these things um, are uh, from Crash Course. I love using him a lot. Bozeman Science. I call him my uh, Mr. Anderson. Um, he's my knockoff uh, science Brad Pitt. He Sorry, my, it's a running gag because my first my first anatomy and physiology class goes, you know what, he kind of looks like a knockoff Brad Pitt. And I went, you know what, you're right. So anyway, so I use Crash Course Bozeman Science a lot. Um, you'll see a lot of TED Eds floating in here as well. Um, so if, if you're having troubles and you're like, ah, uh, and I try to keep them short, so they're all about under 15 minutes. Like here's another one, here's a TED Ed. So I use a lot of crash courses. So anyway, I'm just saying, you'll see videos at the end. If you know you need it, watch them. It's honestly, you're not gonna hurt my ego. Uh, the more people you watch, the more, and, and get it helpfully filters through. I, I am all for it, man. You use the resources on the internet. That's what they're there for. So with that said, um, that's basically how I run uh, my courses. Um, I also will pop in and check on you and make sure everything's going great. Um, I am going to have like forums that are under a lot of my lectures. So that way you answer usually a couple of questions from my lecture. And then, um, you know, if you have a question 
or you want me to elaborate on something or you know some you know I'm going to have those questions and comments going on because I do enjoy discourse. Um, I like talking with my students. So, and I'll be popping in there and, and, you know, talking to you as well. So, you'll be seeing those as well. So, with that said, I'm going to leave you here. Um, and we're going to, uh, I'm going to then move on to the next bit.